Hey everybody, Rich here. In Linux, Linux Mint 12 specifically, and here's a question that's not asked very often, is how do you scan a file or a directory for a virus or viruses in Linux? Now I know what you're thinking, but Rich, Linux doesn't get viruses. Well that's not entirely true. There are <clears throat> hardly any viruses for Linux, this is, this is true, but let's just say uh, you downloaded something and you wanted to scan it in Linux before sending it to your Windows computer or something like that. Well, how would you do it? Well, you do it with Clam AV. Now, if you're in Ye Old Synaptic Package Manager under the Utilities section, at least in the uh, Ubuntu or Linux Mint, there is Clam AV. And uh, you want to make sure to get Clam AV, the base, Fresh Clam, which I'll show in a moment, and so on and then you can use a command line from the terminal to scan for viruses and it's really simple and I'll show you how it's done so first thing I'm going to do is an alt F2 to bring up the run dialog and then gnome dash terminal now it is true in Linux Mint that there is the terminal from system tools UX term and X term but the, the font is really small so for this video I'm actually going to run gnome-terminal which has a much larger font and I have a uh, profile set for dark actually you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to make that even bigger for the text uh, let's do liberation mono 16 point select uh, a little too big, we'll do 14 point there we go, that's about right. Okay, so now you can see that better. Now the first thing you have to do after installing Clam AV and uh, is in the fresh Clam is to update the uh, antivirus software which is simply done with uh, sudo fresh Clam just like that. So sudo space fresh Clam and you put in your password Clam AV update in process. Now, I've already updated it, so it went through really fast. But it says started, up to date, up to date, up to date, rock on. So we're good with that. Now let's just say I wanted to scan my entire home folder, which on the system is uh, slash home slash rich. But it could it's slash home slash your username. Now if you're a good Linux doobie you have all your files under your home folder so when you go and examine the system everything is in here and now of course in your home folder if you do an uh, you know check by doing pwd if you're in your home folder first from a terminal do an ls dash l dash a which will show everything including the hidden stuff so those you know the dot folders so when you actually scan it it will scan all these too which is good so clear and now we will do our scan so we'll do clam scan and <clears throat> I'll just type the entire path here slash home slash rich um, I don't know if I'm missing anything right here I think I might have to do a dash r let me check real quick Clam scan dash dash help. Okay, so those are all our options we can do in there. And like with most app, uh, Linux apps, there's from the command line, there's a ton, a ton of options. Oh, there we go. Yes, recursive. That's why I wanted to do the dash r. So when I do a uh, clam scan dash r slash home slash username, it will scan everything in the home folder. Now you could do this on individual files if you wanted to, but I'm just going to do the whole folder here, so let's go for it. Clam scan dash r slash home slash rich go. Now it's going to pause for a moment while it thinks about it, but then it's going to give the verbose output, which it's doing, and you see a bunch of OKs. And if it finds a virus in any of these files, it will give you an option of what to do with it. You can, I believe you can quarantine. I don't have any viruses on the system, so I actually haven't seen what happens <laughs> when you get a virus in Linux. Um, 
but if you do happen to have any files that are known to have viruses on your system um, and you want to like you captured one in captivity so to speak some people collect viruses and uh, they you know put them in zip files or whatever but if you have one then you can test it with clamav from the command line in Linux and then uh, see what happens after that so remember from the synaptic package manager there is clamav now on different distributions of Linux let me just uh, launch the chromium browser here okay Clam AV Linux. Let's see what we get. Now, as far as the packages for Linux are concerned, let me punch up the text so you can see that better. Okay, the Debian packages, which is what you see here, these are Debian packages. Uh, what else we got? There's Ubuntu, SUSE, Red Hat, and Fedora. Gives a link for that. Vendriva, Gentoo. Oh, Gentoo makes it easy. Look at that. Emerge Clam AV. Well, it doesn't get any easier than that, at least in the Gentoo environment. Pardus. I don't even know what that is. But it's there. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Clam AV, antivirus for Linux, on the command line. And it's still running through a whole bunch of... Oh, it's running through my Chromium stuff now. <laughs> That's going to take a while. Because Chromium has a cache that goes on forever. Oh, I actually got through it. Ooh, maybe it'll finish soon. It's on the Vs. Anyway, like I said, so you have... Uh, there is antivirus for Linux. You can use ClamAV. And uh, remember that when you're running it, just do the um, fresh Clam first to update it. And then do the Clam scan. Uh, if you're doing a directory, remember the dash R to search recursive. And, man, it's going through a lot of crap. I had no idea I had this much stuff in my home folder. Who would have thunk it, huh? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause this video for a moment and then come back when it finishes. Okay, we're finally done. So, known viruses, tells you how many it knows. Engine version, scan directories, 2,433. A lot of that stuff was uh, wine and VMware crap, because I'm running this in VMware. Uh, 9,300 roughly scanned files, no infected files. It scanned uh, about 1.1 gigs of data and time it took 3 minutes 23 seconds. So there you go. That's what it looks like when it's done and we can EXIT exit that. Clam AV, antivirus for Linux, not that you need it, but it's nice to know it's there. So you should get it anyway and learn it.